Hello and welcome to a brand new week here on my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm sharing with you the very last of the four newly released Reloaded palettes and this one is called Fundamental. It looks like this. Now this one only has three mattes. So you've got this cool toned, like a violet grey colour. You've got this brown or deep brown shade and you've got this peachy um, matte shade as well. So those three are the only mattes within this palette, the rest are shimmers. So if you love your shimmers, you're going to absolutely love this palette. Now of course this is £4, you can pick it up from either revolutionbeauty.com or superdrug.com as well. If they're still having their four for, four for three <laughs> palette offer, I will of course link that down below as always. Okay, so you're getting £15 in here, three are matte the rest are shimmers and what i'm going to do now is swatch all of them and of course i'm going to be sharing with you a look as well okay so let's um do the same as before so i'm going to swatch um row by row so the first one oh this is a beautiful gold oh love that i wonder if we've got any surprises in here which we did in the other palette. Okay, and the very last one. Okay, so the first five, we have got a shimmery gold. We have got this peach tone, and this is definitely not as shimmery as this, but it has got a little bit of shimmer, but you, I suppose you could use that um, perhaps you know in the crease because it's not as shimmery as this shimmer here then we have another shimmer which is much more pink we have another it's like a taupey brown and then and of course it's a shimmer and then we have a light pink at the end so that's your first row then we go in with the second row Oh, that's a beautiful shade. Okay, so our next five, we start off with that peach matte shade. We then have this one. Now this one looked deeper in the pan, but when you swatch it, and I doubled it up just to double check, this one comes off a lot lighter than it looks in the pan. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So when you look at this, it looks like it's going to be a, I don't know, a marbled brown but actually it swatches like a very light brown there, like an orangey brown. The next one is a, an orange <laughs> shimmer, and then we have our matte brown, and then we have this beautiful shade. I really, really love that. That is absolutely stunning. Uh, as always, I'm just gonna get a wipe. Okay. Most of these actually, when you swatch them with your finger, they actually, all of the uh, colour comes off in the swatch. It's just the last one it didn't. Okay, now for the final row. Oh, that's a beautiful colour. Oh, love that. Very, very different. I think that's going to be my surprise shade of the palette. I really, really love that. I think that may be my lid shade, that one. Just wiping that off and going into the last two. Hmm. Again, we've got a formula like the one that I said was deep, and then when I swatched it, it swatched differently. Okay, so the very first shade is this one here. It's like a taupey silver, absolutely beautiful. Again, I think this is going to be my surprise shade from the palette because it looks like it's going to be a very light brown but it looks like a taupey silver 
Then we have this very, very orangey golden shade. Beautiful, again, a shimmer. Then we have our last matte shade, which is that violet gray kind of a color. Then we have this one, and I'll just point it out in the palette, and it looks like that. So it's like a peachy, shimmery shade, um, and it looks like it's going to be, you know, a very, very, well, not very, but a deeper. And then when you apply it, it's an absolutely stunning color. It's different to this shimmer. It's, I don't know, it's like a liquid um, or a cream, and it looks, I don't think it's actually coming off as beautiful on camera as it is in, per in person, but it is beautiful. And then we have this gorgeous color, gold, a golden shimmer again. Okay, so those are all of our swatches. Um, just before we move on to the eye look, I'm just going to mention the um, lip shade. So I've got the uh, Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in Premonition this time. I'm going again quite deep because I'm finding that these palettes, um, especially the rosy shade, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to actually do a rosy look, but I went with this one because these deeper shades are really suiting these looks that I'm creating. So I'm going to get my fluffy brush. I'm starting off again with the 251 Eye Increase Contour Brush. Now, of course, the matte shades are limited. So I think what I'm going to do is go in with this one, um, the peach shade, first of all. Um, now, they are pigmented, but again, they kick up a little bit. Nothing wrong with that, because I love that Revolution um, eyeshadows kick up a little bit. It shows me that they are the same formula that I love from all of their shades. So I'm just going to make sure that my base. So, so far I've got on the Revolution Pro Eye Elements. Um, I might have to pick up the new um, base that looks very similar to this so that I can try both that and the cut canvas, um, cut crease canvas um, for you. But for the moment, I'm using the eye elements from, of course, Revolution Pro. And also I've had a few questions, do you use a base plus this? Um, I'm using a base, obviously what I've just mentioned, the Revolution Pro eye elements. I'm setting that with a matte powder. And then of course, I'm going in with this over the top. Um, I'm still not sure whether I'm going to use that, but we'll see in a moment. Okay, but I brought it in just in case, and I probably will. Okay, let's go in with this shade. Well, as always, pigmented, they just glide onto the eye, whether it's a shimmer or it's a matte. If, um, you know, you're looking for budgeted, a budget-friendly eyeshadows, then I would certainly try the Revolution Reloaded um, eyeshadows. They are also, also, if you haven't seen my first video, they are all cruelty free um, from this range as well. So I'm just blending that upwards like that. I'm taking it actually quite high this time. Blending it near enough right up to the brow like that. And again, going in with the same shade on the other eye. Again, I'm just going to matte that down or pat it down and go in again. Again, taking it up quite high like that. Beautiful colour, beautiful pigmentation. Oh, I really love that colour. Stunning. Okay, now I'm going to swap brushes. I'm going in with my Primark Eye Contour brush and I'm going in with the brown matte now. So that one there. Like I say, you're limited, but you have got, um, I suppose you could go in with that one and then this one. You could go in with just that one and perhaps this one. Um, but I'm going in with that one and then of course this one to deepen it up. So just on the outer third of the eye there, a little bit more. And then just now patting it through the crease. Like 
like that. Those two colours really do work beautifully together. Lovely. A very, very nice neutral base that will actually work with any of the um, shimmers in here. So, yeah, so far, so good. Again, just patting that into place. I find that patting it through the crease, it blends it a little bit, but what it doesn't do is um, overly blend it upwards. So you've got a little bit of a blend there. So again, I'm just going in this way on this eye. So just pat it on and then pat it through. This takes a few moments to do this. Is gorgeous love those two colors together I'm just gonna put a little bit more because I can see on the other eye I came around a little bit more and of course we want both eyes to match like that I'm just also going back to the original brush get uh, getting a little bit more of that fair shade that peach and I'm just going to just go over the edge and just blend that out a little bit. Okay. Like that. Now what I want to do is go underneath the eye. I'm getting a clean eye contour brush and I'm going to mimic what I've done underneath, or on top, underneath. <laughs> so I'm going in with the peach first of all. This is a beautiful peach because it's quite pigmented. So bring that up and blend that into what you've already done. Gorgeous. Okay, then I'm going to revert to my original eye contour brush, get, getting a little bit of the brown. I don't want too much of it, and then I'm going to go as tight as I can to the lash line, just to, um, and then just blend that across like that. And that's why I like these brushes, because you've got an angle there, so you can use that tip there to go as close to the lash line without obviously poking yourself in the eye, which I've done many times. Okay, I really love those two colours together. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning so far. Okay, I think I will go in with the cut crease canvas. So um, I'll also link all three uh, videos below for you so that you could you know you can catch up on those if you haven't seen those so this is the cut crease canvas <laughs> in illustrate i'm forgetting the um the title of it now this one if you haven't seen my previous video is a brush okay i'm getting as much product off you don't need a lot of this Okay, and what I'm going to do is just pop some of that on there, look up, and then it gives you your line. Again, I'm not going to go all the way across because obviously I'm going to then go over all of that blend that we've done, like that, and then I'm going to turn the brush around and go into the inner corner like that so you can see because I've actually got quite a small lid um, 
and with this product it really extends my lid and it gives the illusion of more space so again I'm going to and this eye I find I found quite difficult I don't know if it's the crossover but um, I'm going to keep my eyes shut as someone recommended and see if that works look up again and then just follow that line And then I'm just going okay so again I'm just going to uh, turn the brush over put a little bit more product on there okay well that worked a lot better second time round I think as I mentioned in a lot of my comments practice makes perfect um, with this cut crease um, it's only the second or third time that I've attempted it so um, yeah. and obviously that's why I made um, a little bit of an error and so slow on application in the first video. Now what I will say is that you can feel that this is a wet formula so of course um, you'll need to let it dry down a little bit or what I did for the purposes of last video was just to um, you know apply a little bit of a matte eyeshadow but in this case I don't have any cream um, eyeshadow so I'm not going to do that this time I'm just going to leave it to dry I think or I might just pat it down let me just have a look yeah it's still quite a wet formula I'm just going to pat it with my finger and see if that works Obviously, if I wasn't filming, you know, I'd have all the time in the world to um, to let it dry down. But obviously, you know, it's a little bit tricky. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with the colour that I said that I was going to go in with, which is this one here. Really like that. Do I want to go in with that one? Yeah, I think I will. Um, so I'm going to show you the swatch. It was the first one so it was this one here or should I keep that for the inner corner and go in with a pink oh there is so many beautiful shades in this palette another thing I want to do is use one of those no I'm going to go in with that one and then I'm going to use one of those different formulas um, I think that one to go on the inner corner just because I want to see how that one works or should I go on the lid with that one like I say there's so many no I'm going to go on the inner corner with that one um, and go on the lid with this one okay um, also I've had a number of comments from people saying you know how do you achieve such a vibrant lid shade I always apply with my finger so perhaps that's what you know that is so um, again I'm going in with my finger I'm just tapping that product on I wouldn't brush it or sweep it on because it is a um, you know liquid formula so I think what you may find with that is that you're going to then take it off so pat it on like that and then I'm going to get another brush which is just a flat brush from Wilco very in inexpensive and then just pick up some of that product and then pat that into place wow is that a beautiful color that is stunning okay now i'm going in with the same color on the lid this side again just patting that on The formula is absolutely beautiful. Feels very, very high end, um, very um, soft, buttery, and it's working like a dream um, with a brush as well with this shade. like 
that. What I will also say uh, regarding the cut cre crease canvas is that now usually, because I've got a little bit of hooded eye, I find that as the day goes on, my shimmery eyeshadow tends to um, come off. Um, so what I'm left with is a shimmer down here near the lash line, but at the top it you know disappears. Um, with the cut crease canvas, none of that. My eyeshadow stayed on as you, you know, you see it. Um, and yeah, I was very, very impressed. Now I'm just going back in with the deeper colour, I think. And I'm going to pop that here. And then I'm just going to blend it. And I'm going up here. Like that and I'm swapping to the other shade the peach shade and I'm just going around here I want to just yeah like that um, yeah, so I found that the cut crease, it lasted and lasted and lasted. Um, I think I had my eyeshadow on that day for about eight, nine hours. And I found that the lid shade just stayed on all that time. There was no fading. There was no, um, you know, coming off at all, no wear. So how you saw that um, eye look um, was how it literally stayed on. I'm just doing the same as I did on the other eye. Like that. I know um, with a cut crease it should be, you know, quite harsh, but I like to blend it in. A little bit and make sure that I'm not losing any of that eyeshadow. Beautiful, okay, really love that lid shade. Now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to swap to a firmer brush and I'm going in with the PS Pro shading eye brush from Primark. Don't think these are available. Usually I will use the 250 pencil and powder smudge brush also from Primark but I've swatched that colour again and I'm finding that there's hardly any colour payoff so I want a firmer brush um, and I'm going in with this one here. Am I going in with that one um, or am I going in with this one? The pink or the more neutral? I think I'm going in with the more neutral shade which is this one here. So it's this one and this one. Let me just turn it the right way up so you can see. So this colour here, so bottom and fourth row, fourth bottom row, fourth shade across, and top row and fifth shade across, they have a different formula. Um, this one here and all the rest of the shimmers, they are quite a thick shimmer um, formula, but these ones these two here are thinner, they feel different. Um, and that's why I'm going to put that on the crease and show you that. Hmm. They seem totally different. And thinner. Now I'm just blending it into that lid shade. You have to build it up and it does f seem like there's a, a tiny flex of glitter. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it does seem like a more of a glitter formula. I, uh, it's different anyway. Still giving me a nice inner corner, but it's um, it's not a smooth formula. It's not as smooth as the lid. Hmm. Different, but it's still a beautiful shade. It is just different. 
Okay, so you're getting actually a number of formulas within this eyeshadow palette because you've got a matte, you've got a matte, you've got those intense shimmers, you've got like a glittery shimmer, very um, different, and you're also getting um, not quite so um, such a full impact shimmer as well. So you're getting four formulas in there. Okay, I'm going to apply the liner, which as always is the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Liner. I've had a few questions about this as well. This is the only eyeliner that will stay in my waterline that I've ever tested. I believe it's four pounds. Mine's looking a little bit worse for wear because I've had it for so long, but um, it just lasts and lasts and lasts. And if I put actually two layers of this on, which I have done sometimes for videos or if I've been out and about first and then you know I do a video then it will actually last so long well basically until the next day absolutely a beautiful eyeliner now I'm going to apply mascara which as always is the mascara revolution me a little while to I don't want to mess up the eye look there okay so that is the eye look that I have created using the fundamental eyeshadow palette from the Reloaded collection from, of course, Revolution. I'll give you a close-up. That is what it looks like. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful look, isn't it? And I must say that the cut crease canvas is outstanding. It really gives me more lid space and it works beautifully. So absolutely loving that product. But I think I might review it for you and then I can talk in depth about what I like about it. And if there's anything that I don't like, I can also mention it there. But for today's video, um, this palette, very, very different. So I was just expecting the you know regular shimmers and mattes, but Revolution has really given me four formulas within this palette. I'm not quite sure if I like this formula of these two or not. Um, it just seems strange to me that when I, I don't know, it just seems very thin compared to the one that I put on my lid. I don't know if you can see the difference. The one that I put on my lid is this one. It's a very, um, it's not very thick but it's their usual shimmer um, and it feels soft um, and beautiful pigmented and I don't know that one I don't know if I've got a faulty palette or whether it is just a new formula but it's very thin and even if I really you know dig in it's not much payoff and it feels different. Um, out of the two formulas that I've got on my fingers now, I much prefer the formula that I've got on my lid. Um, I did actually put this one in the in a corner. Um, it's nice, but it's not, um, I don't know, it just feels different. It's got a beautiful colour to it, but there's also like some glitter particles that have dropped down. So like I say, I'm not quite sure if this one's faulty, but it does seem like these two are different. So I'd love to hear if you've actually picked this up and whether you're finding that with these two, because if you're finding that they are the same as this one, then I might have a faulty palette, but I'm not particularly I mean, I like it, but it's not blowing me away, if you see what I mean, those two uh, extra shades that I've mentioned. But the lid shade, wow, 
absolutely stunning love it love the look that i've created i must say i really like the combination of that peach and that brown it's very nice it's a beautiful base that you can start from and um, create you know and i look using all of these shimmers if however you prefer mattes um, you probably want to check out other palettes because um, they're not all um, they not all of them sorry have just three mattes um, so some have more mattes than shimmers um, some have the same amount and I think there was another one that had um, about three or four mattes as well but obviously those videos from the four new uh, palettes reload from the reloaded collection will be the other three will be linked down below so you can check those out but this is a little bit of a mix when i look at the other three palettes um so the first one i shared with you had a very deep rosy um hue to it the second one i shared with you was a very bright eyeshadow palette of course that has got a bright color story and the third one had a much more muted rosy story this one to me is a little bit of a mix there's no color story to it as such it, there's a lot of a mix of colors here so yeah i'd really love to hear your thoughts on this palette what are you thinking about the just having three mattes what are you thinking to the formulas of course i would love to hear back from you regarding the two shades that are a little bit different are you loving those or are you finding that yours are different as well and you're not particularly liking them so i'd love to hear those um, and of course obviously i would love to hear your thoughts on the eye look that i've created today and of course if you have just stumbled across my channel of course i would love it if you subscribed to watch further videos i am nearly there at eleven thousand subscribers and obviously i would love to hit now twenty thousand subscribers a little way to go but i can't do it without you so obviously do please subscribe but as always i will be seeing you similar time same place tomorrow so i'll see you there bye